Hello friends, in the last video we have seen how to apply Newton's second law in case if the friction is present. Now in this video we will see how to solve the problems related to elevator. So the objective of this session is to find tension in an elevator cable and this we will illustrate using a problem. So this problem says an elevator and its load have a combined mass of 800 kg as shown in the figure. So this is the elevator and we have some load inside this elevator. So the total mass of load plus elevator is given that is 800 kg. The elevator is initially moving downward at a speed of 10 meter per second. So this is elevator is moving in the downward direction and the speed is given and this speed is 10 meter per second. It slows to a stop with constant acceleration in a distance of 25 meter. So this elevator comes to rest and before coming to rest it covers a distance of 25 meter. This means to bring this elevator into rest this cable has to apply some force in terms of tension. So the question says what is the tension T in the supporting cable while the elevator is being brought to the rest. So we have to find what is the tension in this elevator that is applied before this elevator comes to the rest. One important point in this case you can think this tension has to be greater than mg that is the weight of the lift because this tension has to decelerate the elevator. So to decelerate the elevator it has to apply more force than mg. So one can expect that the final answer of tension should be greater than mg and that we will see towards the end of this session. So how will you solve this problem? So first, what are the things that is given? So we have been given mass that is 800 kg, mass of elevator plus load. A speed is given, initial velocity is given that is 10 meter per second and this speed is in the downward direction. So U denotes initial speed. Now this elevator has covered a distance of 25 meter before coming to the rest and this distance is also in the downward direction. And the question says the acceleration is constant. So we have a constant acceleration. So this is a constant acceleration case. So when you have constant acceleration you can apply kinematical equation that is v is equals to u plus a t or v s square minus u s square is equals to 2 a s. These equations you can apply because these equations are valid only for case of constant acceleration. And what we have to find? We have to find tension. Tension in the cable that is my target variable. So now how will you solve this problem? So idea is you see you have been given initial velocity and basically you also know the final velocity. The final velocity is 0 meter per second because the elevator comes to the rest. So once you know the initial velocity and the final velocity and the displacement covered, then you can use kinematical equation to calculate deceleration or you say acceleration with a negative sign, whatever the sign we will discuss later. So you can calculate acceleration. So once you know the acceleration, you can use Newton's second law to calculate the forces, that is in this case tension forces. But to apply Newton's second law, you have to draw the free body diagram. So what is the flow chart for doing this problem? So first you have to calculate acceleration. So this is your first thing that you have to do. And once you know the acceleration, you can basically draw free body diagram. In this case, free body diagram of elevator. And then you can use Newton's second law to write equations. So you will have some equation, one in the x direction, one in the y direction. In this case, x direction equation will not be useful. So only one equation because we need to have only one variable. So we'll write one equation and that is in the y direction. 
and once I have equation we can solve to get the target variable. So first thing is to find acceleration. So how will you find acceleration? So you have to use a kinematical equation and in this case we will use b square minus u square is equals to 2 as. So you may remember this formula v square minus u square is equals to 2 as where v is the final velocity, u is the initial velocity, a is the acceleration and s is the displacement covered. Now in this case we need to have a sign convention also. So let us assume the positive direction is the upward direction. Now if you consider this, what is the sign of u? Basically u, the initial velocity is in the downward direction, so u will be negative. So you can say u is basically equals to minus 10 meter per second. And the elevator is also going in the downward direction, so s is also negative in this case. So I can say s is equals to minus 25 meter. So now I can use this to in this formula to calculate acceleration the final velocity is 0. So this will be 0 square minus u is minus 10. So this square is equal to 2a s is nothing but minus 25. So from here you can write a is equals to this is minus 100 and this divided by minus 50. So this will be 2 meter per second square. So you see the acceleration is positive and this is 2 meter per second square and positive sign makes sense because if acceleration is positive this means elevator will come to the rest because this, this is acceleration that is in the upward direction and the elevator is moving in the downward direction. So this acceleration will try to decelerate the elevator and finally the elevator will come to the rest. Now once I know this acceleration, now I can draw the free body diagram. So what are the forces that is acting on this elevator? One force that is acting that is bait, that is mg. So let us show this elevator using a point and the force is acting is mg that is acting in the downward direction. What other force? The force due to this cable is tension, so this force will come in the upward direction. We are assuming there is no friction present between these two that is the rail that is the a steel rail and the elevator ball bearings all these are smooth and there is no friction present at the surface of contact between the rail and the elevator. So this is the assumption that we are making. So now I can write Newton's second law that is sum of the forces in the y direction is equals to mass into acceleration in the y direction. In this case acceleration is in the y direction and the magnitude is 2 meter per second square. What are the forces? In the upward direction we have a force of T and in the downward direction we have a force of mg so there is a negative sign and m and acceleration is given that is nothing but 2 meter per second square. Or you can simply write acceleration and then finally we will put the value. So let us write this is A. So from here I can write T is equals to M Z plus A. So you can see the tension force is greater than M Z. So we can basically calculate this tension is M is at 100 kZ and G in this case is 9.8 meter per second square and acceleration is 2 meter per second square. So if you calculate this, this T is equals to 9440 Newton. So this is the tension force that you have in this case. Now see, if you calculate the value of Mg, so Mg will be 800 kZ and this, this is kZ and G is 9.8 meter per second square. So this will be 7840 Newton. So this is the value of mg. 
So you see, in this case, tension is greater than mg. And then we said in the beginning also that in this case, tension has to be greater than mg because thus this cable has to apply a force so that the elevator should decelerate. This means, in other words, uh, this elevator will have acceleration in the upward direction so that the elevator can decelerate and that's why the tension force is greater than mg. You will also get the same answer that is the value of tension. If the elevator is moving up and gaining a, a speed of 2 meter per second that is 2 meter per sorry the acceleration is 2 meter per second square. So you should get the same T value if your elevator is moving up and the acceleration in this case is 2 meter per second square. So you will get the same answer. So you can try yourself that is for this case you also get tension equals to m g plus a. So in this session we learnt how to apply Newton's second law in case of elevator and how to find tension in case of a, in, in a cable when the elevator is going in the downward direction and it is decelerating and finally it comes to rest initial velocity is given then you use kinematical equations and Newton's second law to find the tension in the cable of the elevator. I hope you have liked this video and if you like this video then please share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.